nine named Clifford Williams. I had stroke. We were out visiting family, just having dinner and joking around, and I noticed a change in Cliff's face. Um, and I called his name and he was unable to respond. I called him a second time and it was the same thing. And we automatically uh, went into rescue mode. Having some background, I recognized that it was definitely a stroke that was taking place. Um, and then we ended up at acute care at MCB um, for emergent uh, recovery processes for the stroke. 53 year old man presented with a stroke. His whole life changed in an instant. But prior to his stroke, he was an independent um, air conditioning, heat and air conditioning mechanic and um, writer and coach, coach young kids. Dr. Giordano has a tremendous reputation. Um, I've had some experiences with multiple rehab places and uh, because of his reputation, because of his outcomes, this was the place to come. When we first got here to inpatient rehab, Cliff wasn't able to do anything. I was his voice. I was his right side because he couldn't use his right leg or arm. He couldn't transfer. He couldn't do anything. But the team instantly recognizes his deficits and started working on um, recovery. He had uh, Jason who would not allow him to get away with any shortcuts, to use that right hand to use that right hand, to use you know his right side in every way, shape, or form. He wasn't able to dress himself or bathe, and he is now supervision with all those things. When Cliff came in, he literally could not move. He could not move his tongue, and little by little, day by day, we saw more and more movement of his right side, and then the one day he stuck his tongue out at me, and I knew right then we were gonna be okay. Six, seven, eight, Nah. Once he took like one step, he was like, I need more, I need more. So we like walked down those bars. He was like, I'm ready. So we did one more time. And he was like, Cliff, I think you're ready for the walk. And he was like, yeah. And so we did it. And I think the first day we walked 40 feet. He was tired, but he kept, you know, going up with encouragement. His first steps, <sighs> I mean, what can you say? It's amazing, truly amazing. The whole experience, if you have to be in something like this, this has been truly a miracle. There's nothing else that I can say to see someone who loses everything and then take their first step is, and to say their first word. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He has a great support system. His wife was here 24-7 always advocating for him. I know his friends were always on our sessions and they were just cheerleading him on, pushing him to do better, encouraging him when he'd make a mistake, they would say, it's okay, like start over, you got it. They were great and I could really see how Cliff benefited from that, just not like manifesting physically, but emotionally it helped him so much to have that support from friends and family. And where do you work? And be you. you. That was perfect. He can name items, he can give us short phrases of things he needs and wants. I have four giant children. The time frame of his recovery has been miraculous. Everything is impressive. The nurses, the therapists, the atmosphere, the perseverance, the drive, the move, everything you need to assist in recovery, the expertise, the knowledge, it's just been phenomenal. Words can't explain how phenomenal this place is. It's just so encouraging to see these people that are putting in the effort and putting in the time in inpatient to be able to progress to a point where they're able to go home and be with their loved ones again and be able to get back to the activities that they're used to. His response to his therapist, he loves you guys. He loves every one of you all. And it's been a phenomenal experience if you have to be in this kind of situation. Cliff, who's your favorite? No. Oh. Friends, I love uh, friends, I, I love them.